if that upgrade isn't worth it for just that factor alone, I don't know what would be. It's a no brainer. Today we're gonna to be doing some cool Newell stuff. I know that rhymes, I didn't really try to do that. Sounds kind of lame, but I'm excited to do this. Uh, this is one just little upgrade that I've wanted to do for a really long time and kind of something that I knew I wanted to do even before I got one of these things. Before I do that, I wanna tell you a little story about some good business and kind of how this idea got prompted. So a while back before I went to uh, Circuit of the Americas to race the Escalade, I noticed that there was a something like a nail in my tag tire and it would go flat and I would have to fill it up all the time. Well, before, right before that race, it got really cold and that tire stayed flat and it actually like popped off the bead all by itself. So I'm like, all right, can't deal with this, gotta get it plugged. I called the place down the street, um, Snyder Fleet Solutions. They came, plugged the tire, which is great. Their guys are mobile anyway, but they didn't charge me for the mobileness because they're literally like 500 yards down the road. Um, real quick, it was like 55 bucks to get it filled. Guy was super cool. Puts it back on, I go to Austin, my center cap flies off. The stainless one in the middle. If you know what I'm talking about, you know how expensive these are. And I was like, pretty disappointed. I'm like, dang, I'm gonna have to freaking get another one of those. They're like real expensive. And so I called them and I said, hey, here's what happened. And they, the lady transferred me to the manager. And the manager was awesome. He said, oh dude, that's terrible, no way. Like, um, when are you gonna be there? Let me come check it out. We'll see what we need, we'll find another one. So they did, they came out, they measured everything, they took pictures and they found and sourced another one of those caps identical to the ones I had and came and put it on there for me. Um, the reason it fell off is because the brackets were not um, spaced correctly on the wheel. They were missing a bolt or something. But yeah, they fixed that and they owned up to it and guess who I'm gonna use to buy new tires because of that. A tire plug that cost $55 for me ended up costing them almost $400 to replace that cap. Because they replaced it, now I knew where to get them for the front, and I've always wanted to do that. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna put the whole cap cover style front um, hubcaps on them, this thing. We got these brackets here, and the holes are not big enough for the studs on the wheel. This is how they're supposed to go. Pretty much these just bolt on behind the, uh, the nuts here, but hole's not big enough. So I'm gonna have to waller out three of these holes both sides and then uh, puts them on this here is why I want to get rid of these so bad when I got this thing all the nut covers were like mismatched and like plastic cheap and they're just different sizes different shapes and two of them fell off so they just look generally terrible and here are the new ones they match the rear and I don't know if some of you guys might remember like the early 2000s Prevos and Newell's all had these on there and I just that's the era I grew up look, looking at as like those are the fancy ones kind of in my head so I always associated these tile of covers with like the high-end good-looking cool ones so I want them on mine that's why I got them we'll do a little mock-up here yeah that just looks so much cooler than the you know castle looking nut cover like you normally have uh, the wheel looks like crud right now before I final pull these on I'm gonna go back over these a little bit with some white diamond metal polish get them looking right before those get bolted down but let's take this in the shop figure out how big we need to waller these holes out to and get to wallering I don't know if you noticed but uh, wallering stuff out is like one of my favorite words it's just funny to say like oh that's wallered out I don't know found a step oh, bit I here I Logan found the the step bit unit bit these things are like the greatest thing ever yeah, they are. I gotta waller out these brackets to put my center caps on. Waller out your brackets. What are you gonna? What are you doing? Some waller in here with this thing? I'm wallering out this tool right here. You're wallering out my patience. <laughs> That's easy to do. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Couldn't find any calipers, so we're just gonna, you know, figure out. Use this roughly as a gauge, just to see how big, how wide the stud is. So if it's on there. See how many holes we gotta go through on here. Yeah, I'd say second to last one will probably get the job done on the old Christmas tree bit here. I think I'm gonna do 
one at a time here. Then I don't have to worry about taking the whole wheel off. I'll just do, take these three individually, you know, burp, burp. That way I don't gotta worry about all of it because I don't have like an actual impact tool. Also, I apologize that it's a little dark outside. I wanted to do this earlier, but it was raining and really cruddy and I just thought I wasn't gonna be able to do it. And then it stopped. So I'm like, heck, I'm just gonna get it done anyway because I put it on my power list and I said I would do it. Uh, I will just bring some lights out here in a little bit. <sighs> Battery's dead. Cool. So the Milwaukee's dead, but this was sitting here. And I thought, well, that'll fit in there. It's kind of hardcore, but it should make quick work of this. Um, let's find out. And yeah, I put the safety glasses on because this thing's pretty big. Could get a little wild here. Okay, here we go. fits yes it does it will actually it doesn't even need to be that big but it will fit no problem and I'm just gonna make the other ones the same size just so there's like you know a little bit of play because odds are they're not gonna be completely perfectly centered relative to the stud location so I'll leave a little slip slop in there for it to find its home so I'm gonna knock out the rest of these holes the holes in the next bracket and then we'll get some lights out here and pull the studs off and actually put them on the wheel. drilled they're not too pretty but it's really not gonna matter because once the the nuts go on there it's gonna rub up against these anyway to get tight that's how the ones on the back looked when they came off so I'm not too worried about it uh, this thing is a little aggressive but got the job done Ow. that's hot uh, I'm gonna find something to you know spray those off a brake clean or something real quick to cool them down so we can go test fit them outside. Test fit for sure 100% and then the nuts will come off. I told you I would get some shop lights out here and I did. Elvis. My truck isn't a shop light. So cute time lapse. Let's get these things on here. I'm about to put the bottom ones on here. The top ones, yeah, you can see they're kind of squishing down into the shape of the outside of the wheel, which is kind of odd. It looks weird to me. I don't know if this is right. I'm gonna double check. I'm pretty sure it is, but I'm not gonna drive anywhere until I find out this is the correct way to do it. But I'll show you how the bottom one goes on here. So I already put the cap on and checked out where the holes were to make sure that they were in the right spot and I take off the right ones. So I didn't make the same mistake that they did back there 
what they had is they had one here and the one was like off a hole so it didn't actually bolt up just like that and big old nuts these ones are right hand thread but on the other uh, front side they're left hand thread which kind of threw me for a loop the first time i took the wheel off of this thing i know that now they have r and l right on the freaking stud the more you know so i'm gonna to the four years and why do you do that just use an impact on it the socket i have for this is just happens to be one somebody gave me and it's like a freaking one inch drive or some huge it's huge it only fits on this breaker bar which somebody also gave me uh guy's name's casey freaking he saw me doing my uh my airbag with taking the one wheel off he's like oh we got a bunch of those and it's a broken torque wrench but it works great as a breaker bar you can have it so this is what i got i need to go get an adapter before i can use that big socket on the actual torque wrench that i have that i bought for these wheels so i may do that tomorrow i'm going to extend this video into tomorrow just so you can see this stuff in the daylight as a finished product as opposed to rushing to get the video out and post it tomorrow morning i'd rather wait another day or half a day and post it with better uh better stuff so that's what we're gonna do now these are all in here i get to crank that soldier boy a million billion times to suck these all down with this big heavy freaking broken breaker bar Be interesting to see if how torquing those had bowed these poles out in or out at all and when i was drilling them they kept catching and pulling on that way so i may have to finagle this around a little bit to make it work but we're gonna find out i'll make sure i have these loosened up enough that they will they will bite in there on both ends just in case they are bent a little bit that wasn't too bad at all they're all in they're all in the right spot looks like crap though because my wheels all cloudy but that worked out really really well you can see they're nice and seated there not only are these freaking awesome because they look pimp but polishing these wheels keep out of them is gonna be so much easier because before you could it'd be real difficult to get all around all the little studs and everything but now you just take that power ball and re done that easy if that upgrade isn't worth it for just that factor alone i don't know what would be it's a no-brainer. Next day, I already went to the gym, I did legs. I got a new fitting for Elvis because my transmission line is starting to leak. Um, it's like the fitting that goes into the transmission where the clip is. I think the rubber seal in there is worn out. But anyway, let me get back on this. I'm gonna get out the white diamond stuff, go over that wheel again with a nice quick, uh, quick clean off, update polish. Then we're gonna install this cap for real and you can see what it looks like. I'm not even gonna bother to wipe these off because I don't really care. And uh, when I first polished these, the first time after I got this thing, I didn't even clean the wheels either. I just got this uh, white diamond metal polish here because I read about it on some forum. I'm like, yeah, I'll try this. And man, it just, with this Powerball thing, I had each one of these wheels looking from like cloudy, oxidized aluminum, no sandpaper, nothing, to like pretty much a mirror in maybe 40 minutes, maybe less than that depending how picky you want to get. I think the front ones were quicker than the rear just because of the whole concave thing. But man, it's so easy. So I'm gonna run over these another time, throw it on a time lapse so you can see it happen, and then we're gonna put the cap back on.
got the new oh new front cap on there and it looks freaking awesome i don't know about you what do you what do you think cole it's bright man that looks like a dinner place Jeez. Ooh. Is, Ooh. do you think that looks better than the regular castle nut caps oh yeah especially because you're missing like two on the other wheel well yeah even uh, if i wasn't missing them I, yeah i just think that it gives off you know the what do they call them in like Bonneville, like moon discs or something? Like those flat, you know, I don't oh, know. That's what you think of when you see that? Yeah, I like them though. To me, that's what all the high-end ones came with when they were new in like the early 2000s, the ones I grew up looking at. Yeah. So when I see that, I think that's like, oh, that's a fancy one. Yeah, Even though- it still matches the rears, you know, pretty well. Yeah, those are actually the matching ones for the rear. Like for whatever reason, it came with them on the rear covering the whole thing, but the front, had the individual studs on it, but like the early 2000s Newell's came with those. Whenever I freshly polish those wheels, shine the tires, and have this thing washed, it looks freaking phenomenal. Yeah. But I haven't done that in a while. That's on there, ready to rock. I still have to do the other side, but for the sake of the video, you don't need to watch me do that. You can just pretend or take your phone and then hold it up to a mirror and watch me put this one on again. It'll look like I'm doing the other side. We'll see you on the next video. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you over there.